Who said you can't split on this? Me, because this is really scary. <laughs> oh, man. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, come on, let me through. So I gotta be honest, this is my first time lane splitting legally, and I'm doing it on a bike that is definitely really not made for it. It's a 2017 Harley Electroglide, and I will tell you, this is a wide motherfucking bike. Hey, that's part of being a uh, moto tourist in California, is getting to enjoy lane splitting, right? Although I'll tell you, as much as I like it, I don't know how enjoyable it is. <laughs> Because on this bike, it's pretty fucking stressful. Now you can talk all the shit you want, but hey, let me tell you, unless you're used to doing this, there ain't no way you're gonna be good at it on a big old bike like this. I am definitely a tourist here, and I'm sure all these guys can tell. And of course, the Florida tag on the bike gives it away as well. God damn, they say drivers in Florida are bad. They ain't got shit on people in California. And I, you know, I don't know if it's just so much that the drivers are so bad, it's just that there's so fucking many of them. When you have that many people out on the road, stands to reason a lot of them are gonna suck. But yeah, we have encountered some pretty horrendous drivers on the road here in LA. Of course, you know, everybody makes mistakes. I've certainly made my fair share of mistakes on the road. I've even made a few out here. Luckily, nothing serious. And of course, this isn't exactly the right bike for exploring LA, but since Jessica and I are basically living off this thing, I didn't really have any other options. We gotta be able to carry a week's worth of clothes, all my camera gear, a computer, and all our toiletries, and, and just everything that goes else that goes along with traveling. There's not a whole lot of options out there for something uh, that, that you can put all that stuff in. Of course, for getting around LA, even a big bike is gonna be way better than a car. I can't imagine driving a car in this shit. I'd lose my fucking mind. So since we're in LA as tourists, we might as well do some tourist shit, huh? You guys are probably gonna laugh at me, but when we decided we were coming to LA, there was just one thing I knew I had to see before we left. Now, you guys who are familiar with LA already know where we're headed. <laughs> we don't have tunnels in Florida. Yeah, there's nothing to build tunnels under. It's all freaking underwater. Wow, look at that view. Wow. That's fucking crazy. I thought the views were good when we were up on uh, Glen Morta, Glendale. What the fuck was that mountain we were on? This is fucking wild. Hey, motorcycle parking. All right. You see, I told you you shouldn't take a car to LA, even a big bike. <laughs> Although I'll say this barely qualifies as a motorcycle. This is basically a fucking car.
Well, that was definitely some touristy ass shit, but how the hell can you visit LA and not get a selfie with the Hollywood sign and visit Griffith Observatory? The Transformers will return after these messages. And now, Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. And I'll tell you, the observatory was actually amazing. God, that hall that we're in was just so freaking cool, man. I'll tell you, when you look at all the, you look at all the history marked there and all the people who have studied, uh, studied the stars over the years, the sense of wonderment from all that, the, the idea that we as man have been looking, looking up to the stars and wondering what the fuck is going on out there since before written history, since we were able to even perceive that there was a sky and have self-aware thoughts. That's pretty heavy, and I'll tell you, it hit me pretty hard in there. You know, space is bananas. Yeah. We now return to the Transformers. Well, continuing this in this same vein, we are going to go do some more tourist shit here in Hollywood. I figured me and Jessica had to have at least one day where we did the great white tourist experience of Los Angeles. Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. I used to love that show. Oh, here we are. Hollywood Boulevard. We made it, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to ride down it. I mean, how can you come here and not ride down Hollywood Boulevard? Come and see the sights and all the weirdos. Maybe we'll stop off somewhere if we find a if we find a parking spot, although that's probably unlikely. A museum of broken relationships. Alrighty then. There it is, the Chinese theater. I wanted to see that so bad. I'll tell you, I'm a huge movie buff, and not just movie buff, but I love going to the theater. Uh, it's one of my favorite things, and I've got the Chinese theater, man. That is just something I really wanted to see. Look at those fancy pants apartments, man. God, there's just so much money everywhere. It's, it's insane. There we go, the Sunset Strip. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell you, on a bike this big, it's a little nerve-wracking splitting lanes, even at low speeds. It's because this is a rental, and the last thing I want to do is fuck up somebody's car on a rental bike. Or fuck up the rental bike. I'm sure they would not be happy. That's the, that's the strip club from the Motley Crue song, The Body Shop. I'm getting a little more used to it now. I'll tell you, it is awful convenient. That's for sure. Front of the line, don't mind if I do. Whiskey a go-go. We're stopping here. This is we're stopping at the Rainbow. We're not driving by this place and not going inside it. This was Lemmy's Bar. All right, well, that was the Rainbow Room, of which I did not film any. I'll tell you, when I got in there, it just seemed a little disrespectful to start busting out the cameras. I don't often feel like that, but I definitely felt like that in there. It just seemed a lot like the Dirty Shame, where it was just a bunch of regulars hanging out. <laughs> I mean, they had a bunch of Lemmy stuff up, because obviously they know that's an attraction. But it was very much just a regular bar, which made it even better to know that, you know, Lemmy Kilmeister just hung out at a regular old bar. It wasn't nothing special. So, you know what? I didn't want to, like, bust out all the camera gear. We just sat down, we had a beer, and we enjoyed the place, and it was nice. Ah, sorry, I didn't film the place. It just seemed, like I said, a little disrespectful. But I couldn't drive down Sunset Strip and pass the Rainbow Bar and not go in for a beer. Oh yeah, this is real nice. <laughs> uh, this, these little curvy roads are a damn sight more calm and long and sweeping and much more suited to the glide than those, than those mountain roads we were on before that were nothing but switchbacks.
And of course, if you're on a motorcycle and you're a tourist, what's better than the Pacific Coast Highway? This is my first time seeing the Pacific Ocean. Huh? Looks a lot like the ocean in Florida. <laughs> God, views for days. Oh man, you could just die. It's so beautiful. You just feel it like in the pit of your stomach. It's so pretty out here. It's like something out of a movie. Cause literally this shit's in like every fucking beach movie ever <laughs> is set out here. Yeah, I think we're gonna ride this for a while and then end up staying the night in Venice Beach tonight.